Good evening, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? Good evening. Ooh, I have no video. Now good I do. Evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. On behalf of Inglés Corporativo, it's good to have you here. How was your day? Interesting. Good. Good. Yeah. good. Was it interesting? Was it oh, interesting? Uh, boring. <laughs> Very hard. Okay. <laughs> All right, but I'm really glad that you're here. I'm re really glad that you were able to make it. Um, let's get it started with yesterday's topic. As you know, we always review, and I know you have a couple of questions about yesterday's topic, right? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. I mean, not fantastic, you have questions, which is totally normal. Don't worry about it. If there's something is not clear, we'll go ahead and and um, and try to fix it. Now, what are your your questions from yesterday's structure? In order, Rob. In order. In order. In order. To. Okay. In order to. Mm -hmm. To. Do you remember the structure? To see in a business. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like um, now, describing guys, purpose. Uh, describing purpose, exactly. Let's say that I want to establish my own my own business. I want to establish a pupuseria. People love pupusas. I mean, simple as that. You can get money out of pupusas. So, what would you? What What is your advice going to be? No. Okay. So let's go ahead and show the screen. To see in a pupusaria. I'm gonna share it with you. I'm not gonna use audio right now. Or you're just gonna have it here. Now, I'm going to do it here. Cuando son segundas ocasiones que estoy explicando algo, me gusta hacerlo en español para que prácticamente todo entre fuerte, claro y directo. So, uh, vamos a ocupar to más un verbo. Por eso es que se llama una cláusula infinitiva. Um, y el que. Ok. Para que necesitas tal cosa. So, por ejemplo, para abrir una pupusería, we can say, to establish a pupusería, I'm going to send it to the group, to, uh -huh. the, to the chat, by the way. To establish a pupusería. Y aquí, después de esto, no necesariamente necesitan ustedes el it's a good idea, el it's important. Aquí ustedes pueden decir lo que ustedes quieran. ¿Ok? You have to, okay. you need to, cualquiera de esas. Sin embargo, cuando hay una estructura nueva, me gusta que los, la gente siga la estructura. Y ya cuando está sólida la estructura, ya pueden echar a volar y ustedes le meten otras expresiones. ¿Ok? Pero... Ok. Ahí escuché de chicharrón con queso. Creo que comeremos pupusas. Ok. Uh, speaking of the devil... Me llega, es speaking... With, with chocolate. With chocolate. Speaking <laughs> of the devil is, hablando del rey de Roma, y ya saben ustedes lo demás. So, speaking of the devil, hablando de alguien. So, thank you. Yes, I got some pupus. Okay, so to establish a pupusería, what? It's a good idea. I need a... Uh, it's a good idea to. Es una buena idea. To, to have a good location. Okay, nice. To have a good location. All right. Now, aquí yeah. podemos dar consejos de lo que nosotros queramos. Para, to, um, okay. How do you to say, have, para perder peso, uh, así es como se dice, para perder peso, es una buena idea no comer pupusas en la noche. To avoid any junk food. Ajá. Uh -huh. To lose weight. 
Empezamos con la primera parte. To lose yeah, weight. To lose to weight. weight. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea yeah. to avoid, avoid eating, food. eating food. Junk, junk food. Junk food. Comida chatada. Junk food. Junk food. Junk food. So, como ustedes pueden ver ahí en el chat, vamos con lo mismo. To, para lograr que, coma, dejamos la misma estructura, it's a good idea, to, y luego, ¿cuál es la buena idea? Now, I'm going to give you the last example. The, the rest of examples are going to come from you. Um, let me see. To... Para tener mascotas, necesitas espacio en casa. O es una buena idea. Para tener mascotas, es una buena idea tener mucho espacio en casa. In order to have pets. Casi, casi. Quedémonos en la estructura. Ah, to have, to have pets. To have, ah, to have, have pets. pets. It's a good It's idea, a good to, idea. Have, uh -huh. to have We, enough space. It's a good idea oh. to have enough space or room. Room is the mismo que space. Ah, okay. To have enough space or room at home. Yeah. Oops, at home. Room. So, ahí, señores, tenemos la estructura. ¿Por qué le dije que no a Toño? Creo que fue. No, William. 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 ¿Dónde está William? No lo veo. No fui yo. Ok, no, pues tú, William. Perdón. So, entonces, no, no fui sí, yo. Pues, creía escuchar tu voz, William. Disculpa. Ya. Yeah. Right. Ah, no, no, no. No hay pena, no hay pena. Yo, so, yo estaba um, escribiendo. Here. Una vez ya nosotros podamos... Ya entendemos el to have pets, to have a girlfriend, to go to the United States, to learn English, whatever, para que tú logres Tal cosa es una buena idea, esto. Y ahí van las estructuras. So, try to give me two examples. I need two examples coming from you. I got a few. I'm going to give you one, but... Uh, with, with this structure. With two. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Yes. To run a successful, successful clothing store. Okay. We have, we have to keep up with the latest style. Okay, we have to. Oh, uh, it's a good up. idea too. Aquí es donde vamos cambiando. En vez de it's a good idea too, le podemos poner we have to. Uh, it's up. important to todas estas que ven aquí. Okay. We have to. Keep up with the latest keep style. With the latest style. Uh, style. Styles or trends. Trends. Trends, as you can see, is mm. something that everybody's doing, everybody's buying. Like... Spinners. Who didn't have a spinner back in the day? <laughs> right? They were all like the whole day. All right, give me another one, please. For example, to <laughs> understand statistics. Okay. It's important to be good at math. Nice. Give me a second. Statistics. Comma. Sí, statistics. Comma. It's important. It's important to be, to good, be good at math. At math. Math. Nice. Good. I like this example. Good, Good example. Uh, okay. And one more. Uh, it has to be two? Yes. For a moment. Ya van a ver por qué. Okay. To a hotel, to attract more customers, he must offer great discounts. Ajá. Me llega eso que hemos, que hemos dicho. Si ustedes se fijan, to va seguido de un verbo, vea. Mm -hmm. Sí. Entonces no podemos poner to a hotel. Okay. Ahí vamos a ocupar for, que es la estructura de abajo. Yeah, that's what I had for a hotel mm -hmm. to attract more customers. There you go. Right. Okay. Entonces, un ejemplo con to, el último. Okay. Va seguido de un noun. A tu verbo, perdón. To go at, at the school. To go to school. To go at To go at the school. Mm -hmm. To yes. go to school. Así va. To go to school. To go to a, to a school. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, study very much. Okay.
Ok, it's a good idea. Muy bien, vamos bien. It's a good it's a, idea. It's a good idea. To. To have. To. to uh, good professors. Mm -hmm. To have good professors. Finish it, Mauricio. To a good professor. Um, or. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Para ir a la escuela es una buena idea que. Zafarse de clases. Estudiar. Hacer exámenes. Uh -huh. um, I created a new one about the hotel. Okay. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll take that one in a second. Let's go ahead and finish this one, guys, before we move to another one. To go to school, ¿qué es una buena idea? Si tienen hijos ustedes, o si ustedes, bueno, ahorita están estudiando. Tener buenos profesores. To have a good professor. To have excellent professor. Para, para tener un buen colegio, to have a good school. Ah, ok, pero entonces ahí esa es otra cosa, me llega. To have a good school. A good para school. tener una buena escuela, es importante tener it's buenos a, maestros. It's a good idea to have a good prepared teacher. A, a uh -huh. prepared a teacher. teacher. It's important to have a to have good a teacher. Good, yes. It's a good idea to have a good teacher. To have a good school. It's a good idea to have, siempre va el to, es como un doble infinitivo, to have, to good, have teachers. Estamos. good teachers. No lo voy a poner, ahí va. Y ahora desde el punto de vista del estudiante, de nosotros, no crean que se me ha olvidado. To go to school. Para ir a la escuela es, es una buena idea que... Good idea to... Para nosotros. Si le quieren dar un consejo a su hijo, mira. Para to, good, to go... To go to school, we have to prepare our mind. Okay. To go to school, it's a good idea to set your mind. Set your mind. Set, set, set your mind. mind. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. You're set. To set your mind. Set your mind. Good. Now, is this difficult? Not much. It's a good Not idea much. to... A little. Pay attention in your class. Ajá. Pero para qué? Me llega. Esa es la segunda parte. Para qué? To understand. To understand. The class. It's a good idea. To pay attention. To pay attention. Excellent. Ahí vamos. Y ahí nos vamos zafando. Digo, soltando. Ahí nos vamos a... Ahí, I'm sorry. Good teacher, good teacher. ¿Quién está hasta manchando ya el, el, el pizarrón ahí? Qué bárbaro. Creo que, es, creo que son las pupusas que tiene la par. Me están haciendo ojos. No, don't worry. Ok. Ay, ustedes. Bye, guys. So that's the structure. To understand or to do something. Aquí es donde la tienen que seguir. Una vez ustedes ya tienen asimilado esto. Ya podemos cambiar la segunda frase. Por ejemplo, it's important to, instead of a good idea. It yeah. needs to have, or etc. Let, let's keep this too. You must, you need to. Once the structure is solid, you can start playing with extra information. Like for example, here. What is the difference with the, with the structure? ¿Cuál creen que es la diferencia entre la estructura? To, verb, to, a, complement, it's, a good idea to, it's important to, ahí está la frase, personal, y complement. Ajá. ¿Cuál creen que es entonces la diferencia? Personal pronoun. Miren. The we got an idea, um, personal pronoun, and the verb. I know. That's yeah. it. I mean, me llega que estén trabajando y que estén intentando. But that's it, guys. That's the only difference. Yeah. In order. Mm -hmm. So, entonces, a mí me gusta enseñar de una manera que sea claro lo que se tiene que hacer y luego solo se le van agregando piezas. Una pieza más al rompecabezas sobre la misma estructura. So, to have... Me faltó la A ahí. To have a good school, it's a good idea to have good teachers. ¿Cómo lo pasamos a lo otro? In order, 
to have a good school, it's a good idea to have good teachers. In order to understand the class, it's a good idea to pay attention. Es lo mismo, solo yes. que están poniendo un complemento, entre comillas, al principio. It can be like in order, in order, mm -hmm. or it can be two, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. It say that we can use in order two, or we can we can use to open a fast food taco. Well, let's. I'm gonna give an example. Uh -huh. In order to open a fast food restaurant, mm -hmm. or it must create a clever clever advertisement. In order to open a a fast food fast taco restaurant. Food. So in that case, it's going to be a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, a Mexican yeah. restaurant. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. A Mexican must, restaurant. Or it must have a clever advertisement. It must have clever advertising. Ahí estamos. In order to open a Mexican restaurant, it must have clever advertising. That's it. It is the same that you say to open a Mexican restaurant mm -hmm. than saying in order to. It's the same thing. The same thing. Potato, exactly. potato. Como es? Chimol, chirimol, chimol, chirimol. Chimol. 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 The three, chimol. The three, the three words is, is <laughs> the chimol. same. The same potato, same. potato, tomato, tomato, tomato. Call center, call center. It's just another way of saying it. Is it clearer now? Está más claro ahora? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, let's move to the next one. Voy un poquito jalado porque es el tema de ayer. No crean que así va a ser siempre. Um, here, the difference is that with the infinitive, with the use of two, we are using verbs. Here, with four, we are going to use nouns. For an athletic center to be profitable, o sea, que de pisto, profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. So we are going to have para, and this is the this is how the structure is going to be. Para que tal cosa sea tal cosa. Aquí va el verbo. Necesita, tiene que, y el complemento. For a hospital to be clean, it needs many, um, many cleaning people. For a teacher to be good, he or she needs to study hard. You see, um, I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to write them down. A, I have a question. Go ahead. Can we use must? Yes. Oh, but, okay, good. As I mentioned okay. before, try to master this first. Try to understand how it goes. Okay. And then, metale chile, salsa tomate, lo que quiera. That's up okay. to you. Okay. All right. So, um, give me a second. So, teacher, in this case, with the structure with four, instead of Using a verb, we must use a noun uh -huh. for an athletic center to be profitable. Mm -hmm. Profitable. Uh, profitable. Profitable. Que de pisto. Oh, Profit okay. is una ganancia. Sí, yeah. So we go profitable. like this. For a restaurant. Uh, let's, let's say, um, for my girlfriend. To be happy. To be happy. <laughs> you read my mind. I must make some really good dinner. Kiss <laughs> her a lot. Buy the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, entonces, ¿para qué? Mi señora. Tal cosa. Okay. Necesito tal cosa. Y puede ser, with this one, I need It to be, needs, I, need. I need to be faithful también. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, for we can talk about people, animal, places, whatever you name it. It's a noun. For the milk, 
the milk. Um, Three. I don't know what to say about the milk, but I already started. For the milk to be delicious, it, it needs to needs put banana. It, <laughs> it needs uh, a I don't know, that's quick. So for the milk to be delicious, it needs a quick. ¿Para qué? Tal cosa sea. Tal cosa necesita tal cosa. Hay un montón de tal cosas. For. And you need a million men. For. <laughs> for an athlete. Ah. Read athlete. For an athlete to athlete. run. Or to perform, vamos a cambiar el verbo. To perform well, he or she needs to um, train hard. For an athlete to uh, perform well, athlete, athlete. he or she needs to, to train well. hard. Vamos cachai ahí? Yeah, I have another example. Go ahead. For a hotel to attract more customers, it needs to offer <laughs> okay. great discounts. Continue right. hotel. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, uh, but that's good. I, I made some changes. Uh -huh. Now yeah, remember guys, changes. that the vocabulary that you use, it must be something you, it's going to be useful to you. Vayan a ver las listas de verbos. Uno de los primeros que les sale es abide. No creo que lo vayan a ocupar. So let's go ahead and continue. Make it useful to you. Vocabulario, verbos que le sirvan a ustedes. Ya después va a haber tiempo de, de, de memorizarse cosas que vamos a aprender una vez a las 500. Ajá, my for, friend, for a hotel. A hotel. <laughs> Ajá. Help, help but, me with the, with the for example. For a hotel again. To, to attract more customers, uh -huh. it needs to offer great discounts. Okay, to get, let's go ahead and use, to get more customers. More customers. Comma. Yeah. It needs comma, yeah. to offer. Great discounts. Great discounts. Say with me, everybody, discounts. Discounts. Discount. Uh -huh. discounts. 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 Exactly. Discounts. Now, guys, I need you to please give me three more. Three more. Four. About what? four. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, it is difficult to come up with the full example at once. So let's go ahead and create it on the spot. For what? Tell me for a shopping mall to be famous. Uh -huh. For a shopping mall to be famous. Hey, guy, help me. <laughs> come on, don't <laughs> let him drown. Okay, no se ahogue. Don't let him <laughs> hey, drown. Come on. <laughs> For a shopping mall to be famous, help. Um, need low prices. It needs. It needs. It low needs. Price. It needs low prices. It needs free parking. Low I don't know. I just need free parking. Free parking. It needs good security. Good security. All of these can be complements of the previous statements. Okay, yeah. good job. Give me two more. I, to have a good maquila, it is good to have good operators. It's good to have good operators. To have a good maquila. How do you say maquila? Maquila in, in business. Factory, mm. factory. Factory, that's good. Factory. All oh, right. It's good Thank to you. have good operators. You see? Teamwork. One more. One more. Oh, 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 oh. I made a mistake. I used two. For a factory. For a, a okay. For a factory. For. Um, to okay. be good. Yeah. Comma. Uh -huh. It needs good operators. operators. Mm -hmm. A good operator. Yep. It's this uh, one good. right here is not bad. It's not a bad example. For I just used to another good. another structure. All right. All right, all right. Okay. Any question with this one? 
No. Okay. Now, if you want to say something else, you can use in order to. The structure is not going to change. In order, in order, well, in this case, in it's order. in order for. In order for a factory to be good, comma, in it order makes good operators. So, in esas últimas dos, it really makes no difference. That's when, what? For a factory, or in order for a factory, es lo mismo. That's up to you. Chimol, chirmol. Okay. okay. Uh, in order for a newspaper to be credible, it must provide the latest news. The latest news, that's right. And it must provide a little bit more than that. All right, my friends. So this is what we have. I really hope that this not so quick but intensive review has actually helped you out and clear some is does it have a negative form yes yes <laughs> okay i really hope you don't get confused with this <laughs> i would recommend you with the negatives to use in order okay. mm -hmm. so for, for negatives example, negatives good question girl negatives you can say in order not to fail uh, you need to watch your step to strive to strive is for you to try over and over and over again to be persistent in order not to fail so as you can see, to not fail, I would use ing, so it's gonna kill the whole structure. So I would use in order to. Ocupo el in order to para no matar la estructura. Porque si yo lo ocupo de otra manera, tendría que decir otra cosa, ya es otro animal, vea. Entonces, mm. in order not to run, in order not to establish, in order not to get fat, in order not to etc. Is that one clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And in the next one, for, um, you don't need to use in order. You can use either or. You can say for a restaurant, restaurant not to go bankruptcy and quebra. It needs to be, I don't know what to say, fully profitable. It's, it's a little bit obvious. <laughs> oh, little very bit obvious. Affordable. Yeah. affordable. Okay, it needs to have a lot of customers. It needs to have uh, good food. Good food. good food. Uh huh. It needs to have good food. Is the negative clear, my friends? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Good. Now, how are you going to work with this? Example after example after example. You got to practice. If you log in, you will understand, but two days later, you will forget about it. So, you got to practice a lot so this, you can have a good, a good level of understanding. All right? All right. All right. Good. Hope this is helpful for you. Now, guys, this is all for today. I really hope you have a good night. No, I'm kidding. We still have one more. I'm going to say. So fast. I was like, it's only 8.40. <laughs> yes, yeah, like, what? Well, don't do that. 8 in a half. Nice. Nice. Well, that, that sounds <laughs> It's just to wake good. you up. That's just to wake you up. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Perhaps the, the smell of the pupusas, it has me, you know. So let's go ahead and read here. Lesson objective. You're all jealous. <laughs> No, no, I'm not going to eat right now. I'm going to eat right after the class and before the other one. Um, lesson objective. Okay. Come on, say lesson, me. Lesson ah. objective. Lesson, lesson objective. objective. In this lesson unit, objective. you will learn In vocabulary related to success. 
This will help you express ideas. This will help you express ideas. This will express you express ideas. Good. The reason why I need you to wait for me is so you can pay attention to the pronunciation, the linking, you know, the, the little pauses I make. Now I'm going to read it completely and then you do it. Try to copy everything. In this unit, you'll, listen, I'm contracting it. In this unit, you'll learn vocabulary related to success. This will help you express ideas. Go. In this unit, you'll learn vocabulary related to success. This will help you express ideas. This will help you express ideas. This will help you express ideas. I need a volunteer to read it, please. In this unit, you'll learn vocabulary related to success. This will help you express ideas. Okay, nice. Uh, we got to work. Uh -huh. In this unit, you will learn vocabulary related to success. Oh. This will help you express ideas. Nice. Good job, Francisco. Um, in the Good. previous one, I liked it, but we always, when we are finishing a statement, we have to go down in intonation. In this unit, you learn vocabulary related to success. Para abajo. Success. Success. Mm -hmm. Vamos a... This will help you express ideas. Mm -hmm. This will help you express ideas. And when we finish, we go down too. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, oopsie. Let's move to the next. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and pay attention. This is a very quick video. And it's about vocabulary that you're going to be using. <laughs> you're going to be describing qualities and people. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and mute it and watch the video, please. Give me a second. I got to fix something real quick. First, I'm going to activate the computer sound and I'm going to turn the volume up. Gorgeous, industrious, hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives that will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, Fashionable. industrious, Fashionable. muscular, Industry. slender, muscular. Slender. Clever. Slender. Clever. Arming. Charming. Knowledgeable. Charming. Persuasive. Knowledgeable. Persuasive. Persuasive. Uh, guys, it's okay for you to repeat. I love that one because you can copy. But make sure you mute your microphones so everybody can listen to the right pronunciation. Don't stop repeating. Just mute it. Mm -hmm. Fashionable. Fashion. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Industrious. 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 Muscular. Industrious. Slender. Industrious. Clever. Industrious. Charming. Perfect. Knowledgeable. Persuasive. Tough. Affordable. Attractive. Entertaining. Informative, well written. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. Now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. Charming, knowledgeable. All right, so as far as the pronunciation, guys, Try to copy what you hear. Try to mirror. Uh, some of you are muted. Algunos de ustedes están en mute. Los puse así. Pero lo pueden quitar cuando ustedes quieran. Okay? No tienen que quedarse así toda la clase. So, um, fashionable. What do you think is the meaning of fashionable? 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Fashionable. Something that follows the last trend. Uh huh. Something that follows trends. Mm -hmm. Like what, for example? You wear the last shirt or something like that. Uh huh. For you to wear the last shirt, the last haircut. Which haircut. Yes. I never do. By the way. Okay. So fashionable Either. is something that follows a trend. That follows fashion. Fashion. So um, I don't know. I think Nayib's socks are fashionable. I think. <laughs> There's ah, a lot yeah. of people wearing <laughs> color socks now. Colors. Uh huh. Next one, gorgeous. What is the meaning of gorgeous? Gorgeous. Beautiful, very attractive. Beautiful. Awesome. Yes. Incredible. Mm -hmm. So he or she is awesome. gorgeous. You're gonna have your own. Industrious. Industrious. Mm -hmm. Diligent and hard working. Diligent or hard worker. Correct. Someone that likes to work real hard. Muscular. And you got the dictionary right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Muscular. Yeah, you got Someone who's not like me. Muscular. The Someone, opposite of yeah. thin. The opposite of me. <laughs> Muscular. <laughs> Someone with a lot of uh, muscles, you know. Cholo. Now, be careful with the word cholo because in, Sp in, in Salvadorian, <laughs> yeah. quotation, is someone very muscular. <laughs> But in Mexico, yeah. in the United States, it's something different. It's a gun. Not yeah. a good idea. <laughs> Gangster. <laughs> Turkey face on that one. Um, slender. Slender. Thin. Slender. Uh huh. Yep. Did you watch the movie Slenderman? Yes. Nice. I have Next one. Seen. Um, me neither, but I've seen the memes. Clever. Uh, quick to understand. Aha, uh -huh, quick to understand. Uh, you can get away with it. Get away with it is salirse con la suya. Get away with it. Mm -hmm. uh, have, you seen, with it. have you seen Better Call Saul? Mm -mm. The, the series? No. No. Okay, it's a prequel of Breaking Bad. Did you watch Breaking uh, Bad? Yes. Okay, yeah. so if you watch Breaking Bad, Watch it. He is very clever. He gets away with every problem. You can get an answer like no, no. this. Okay. Dejo astuto. Next one. Charming. Mm -hmm. Charming. 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 Adorable. Charming. Adorable. Adorable. Prince Charming from Adorable. Shrek. Adorable. Attractive. Okay. Attractive. That's right. And um, knowledgeable with a lot of knowledge. Intelligent. Intelligent, someone yeah. who knows a lot of knows. wisdom. A lot of wisdom, yeah. that's right. Jay. Persuasive. Mm. Persuasive. The person to convince Persuasive. you to and to believe something. Exactly. To believe something. Yeah, believe. I'm not gonna do it again. Come back with me. And there you go. Exactly. Yeah. You, tr <laughs> yeah. you, trust, you trust me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exactly. You trust in the person, you believe in that person, and, and they convince you of doing things. Next okay. one. Tough. Hard. Strong. Like hard, strong. Strong. Heavy. Exactly. Tough. Um, affordable. Yes. Cheap. Mm -hmm. idea. Cheap. Cheap. Inexpensive. Mm -hmm. um, um, not necessarily. Not necessarily cheap. Affordable. Not necessarily inexpensive. You have a good point, though. However, what is affordable? To you, it's not the same as, to, I don't know, to a millionaire. To yeah. a famous soccer player, it is affordable to buy a Ferrari. And it's not cheap, it's just affordable. Mm -hmm. That means that you can pay for it. It's depending on the person or the, or the point of view. Yeah. I mean, the, it, it, you can pay for it. Simple as that. It's affordable to you, whether you're a millionaire or... Uh, or or not. not. Okay, to me, uh, going to a restaurant might not be affordable right now, but to uh, some people it might. Affordable, affordable housing? Affordable housing is that, again, that you can pay it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
some people can pay three hundred dollars for rent. Some people can pay six hundred. Some people can pay a thousand. It's and affordable. Some people can only pay fifty dollars. You pay uh -huh. in dollar or in colons. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can pay for it. It's affordable. <laughs> Next one, attractive. Um, good looking. Cute. Good looking. Handsome. Handsome, cute, good looking. You cute. like it. Comes through the eyes. She's a very woman. Mm -hmm. She's a very woman. Entertaining. Hola. No. Mm -hmm. A crown. A crown is entertaining. Oh. Playing for mm -hmm. soccer is entertaining. Exactly. Providing amusement. Providing amusement. I like that. Sorry. The what do you say? Um, Thomas, what do you say? Um, Providing amusement. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, entertaining is that makes you feel entertained. That's it. Yeah. Watch the picture. I don't want to watch this movie. It's boring. It's not entertaining. Exactly. Oh, this one it is. Or look at the picture. Oh, I didn't know. Not Geo, etc. Next one, informative. Uh, intel that is useful. Yep. For example. Useful as far as information. Good information, useful information. You're Super selectus. You're read the newspaper. Super selectus is informative right now because they let you know when you can go out according to the last number of your doing. Information yeah. you cannot find easily in other governmental institutions. But that's a different animal. Next one. You, are, you have a commission. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny for that new information <laughs> this is an, an example on how you can use the, it it's the, funny how super selectors is informative because they need the money they need people to buy at their at their stores that's why they're do that exactly and the government yeah. is not being too informative with this <laughs> yeah. you see I'm, I'm using again i'm not talking about politics this is my the, personal the, opinion. The because, magazine informative. The magazine informative. Uh, yeah. That is misinformation. Misinformative. Mis the opposite. Desinforma. Yep. They tell lies. All right. And the last one, well written. Easy to read. Grammar. Easy to read. Mm -hmm. Or understand. Or to understand. Bien escrito. All right, guys, so for the next couple of minutes, I wanted to describe people you know, and I want you to talk about it. Don't just say, oh, um, I don't know, la prensa de ayer is very informative. Oh, good sentence. And you stay quiet. <laughs> I wanted to get more. Hey, um, la prensa de ayer is very informative because I read the news and they are keeping track of how many people is getting the virus, how many people is unfortunately passing away. Try to get more information, okay? All right. Good, so I'm gonna send this picture via WhatsApp. Okay. And um, I need you to please go ahead and accept the invite I'm gonna send to you right now. Yes, I got my total is loading. <clears throat> okay, there it is. Uh, the rooms, four groups. Persuasive. Okay, go ahead and accept it, please. I got too many people in this group. Okay. Three, three, and four. That's good.
the emergency. So what I do oh. is to take my X phone and mm -hmm. I put my chip, but my X phone, it doesn't serve the, the sound. So I can oh. hear calls. I just have WhatsApp and that, and that doesn't serve me so, but I think that right now, because of the emergency, I can get a new phone. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, hopefully it's gonna, gonna be able to do it soon. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, well, well, I had another issue, like my Dewey basically expired on the 5th of this month. You and have I to went go to take a certification. I think they are giving a certification in order that you can move up with your, with the certification in the days that they said you let you move. Yeah, because I had a problem the other day. One of my friends sent me some money for my phone and I couldn't take the money, I couldn't, couldn't get the money on, on Tigo money because of my Dewey. I'm like, oh no, now it's gonna be a lot of trouble. But I went to Western Union and they gave me the money, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's complicated. I think that we have to make the, the work. It, a teacher, we should make sentence with the words we have seen right now. Okay, um, boys, I went, I, I did like three of those. I don't know if they will help you out. I'm gonna read you one and then you can help me out if I did something wrong. This is okay. the first one. For a, business, for a businessman to be successful, he must be clever and very knowledgeable about the customer's needs in order to sell the product. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's very important to be persuade, persuasive with persuasive. all the things Persuasive with all the things you do. He must be, yeah, to sell, and he needs to... It is yellow. Have a um, uh, uh, also um, yellow yellow eyes. Um, uh, um, it's very you know like eating. And it's, it's, um, it's it likes to play you know like a lot with you know like balls or um, any any item that he found you know in my house. It, I think it's very beautiful. Uh, I like to have a kitty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, I, I love my pet, you know what I'm saying? You got me? I got, I got some. Okay. Okay, and that's your, your turn. Let's hear um, Irene. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. I have a friend who, who is a person very talkative, very, uh, very funny, very friendly. Uh, she is very Sensoring. Um, is honest. Uh -huh. Sin honest. Sincerely. Uh -huh. Sincerely. Uh, and it's very intelligent too. Very intelligent. Only that. I, I told so rude. So, so you probably were so rude with the chancla because <laughs> because you are thinking about. It's very pers persuasive. <laughs> yeah, persuasive with the chakra, so I'm very tough. Yeah. Oh. Other words. Yeah, try to give more examples. Don't okay. stop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel Messi is knowledgeable. With the balloon. With the balloon. With the balloon, right? Yeah, <laughs> with the balloon. With the balloon. Balloon. With the balloon. Balloon. Mm -hmm. balloon. With the balloon. Entertaining. Uh, the, the football the is football entertaining. Was entertaining. Oh, nice. I like that one. Just make sure that you don't say the football. That's Spanish. Yeah, the Would football you say? Oh, 
soccer because football is like the NFL in the States. Oh, okay, so okay. Soccer okay. is entertaining. Soccer? Uh, well, football is Americano. Soccer is uh -huh. gorgeous. American exactly. football. Okay, exactly. Uh, football Americano is lo que ellos conocen como football. Para nosotros está el soccer, the el soccer, MLS, yes, the Major League Soccer. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so I remember. The new, new, the new uh, paper uh, is a uh, is a very good uh, informative to to. Uh, yes. COVID-19. COVID yes, about COVID. <laughs> about, about COVID. Uh, the newspaper is informative about COVID. About COVID, that's how they say it. COVID. Okay. Thank Coronavirus. You. Coronavirus. Yes. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Yes, for Coronavirus. Uh, but you very well. Oh, so, yes. all. All very well? Yeah? No? What about the industries? Industries. 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 Mm -hmm. L. I didn't remember what I meant. I mean. Adog Industries is talking about the, this go away to El Salvador. Yeah. El Salvador. Why? Why? To, to go away to El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> why? Okay. Why? It, it's, it's very important to to uh, uh, jobs. Uh, it's a uh, uh, five hundred jobs to uh, lose. <laughs> Okay, do you say a lot of industry? <laughs> I didn't understand a dog. <laughs> so, a dog. A dog. A dog. A dog. Also, I understood a dog. So, I was talking about pets. A dog. Alrighty, guys. So, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. All right, so we are, oops, we are getting everybody back. So my dear fellas, today we were able to reinforce yesterday's topic. I, I really hope that that one is a little bit clearer than yesterday. Make sure that you um, practice in this vocabulary. Make sure that you try to use it with your friends, with your family, so you can put it into a personal context. Okay, that is very important. Okay. If you make it yours, then you're going to keep it more in your head. If you don't care about what you're learning, then it probably will be difficult. So thank you very much for being here. I really hope that you've liked the class. Tomorrow we're, we're going to work with giving reasons, which is exercise 2.8. Remember to work on the platform. If you have any questions, send it to the group. And if, we, if I can help you, um, then people will the group is going to help all right so my friends okay. thank you very much my pleasure this is okay. alejandro carbona hope you have a okay. great night get out of here see okay. you okay. pleasure teacher thank you nice night thank you. bye take care thank you good night everybody good night. Good night. thank you i have him right here next to me Woo. goodbye <laughs> yeah okay forget <laughs> it bye bye